Hey guys, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another Vectors lesson. Now, as you guys know, GeoGebra is probably one of the most popular mathematical tools, or I guess you could say a graphing tool at the moment, and it has got pretty good vector functionality. So today we're going to show you guys how to use it to do some vector calculations and the first thing we want to do is show you how to draw a vector so as you guys know we can draw vectors in several ways we can either draw it using the components so for example let's use the x and the y components of a vector um, to draw it so let's define a vector called u u is equal to you can see I'm typing in the bottom left hand corner u is equal to a vector and if you just define if you just write down a single point using the x and the y coordinates of that point then what GeoGebra will do is draw a vector from the origin to that point. So as you can see, I wrote down, and you can see the command again if you just hover your mouse over it. So u is equal to vector um, square bracket curly bracket 3 comma 5 bracket bracket. Okay, so I've drawn a vector like this. This is vector u. And if you want to right click on it, show the label, and it shows that it's vector u, um, you could draw another vector. Let's say vector v. v, let's make it a vector square bracket, curly bracket, um, 3, negative 2. So if you press enter, this is vector v, and let's show the label as well. Okay, so right now we're drawing vectors using the components, the x and the y components. Uh, now let's try drawing a vector using the magnitude and direction. So if you want to do it like that, then I would suggest that you use the one of the buttons up the top here at the toolbar and search for the vector between two points button. Okay, so it's the third button from the left. Scroll down, click on it and then scroll down to vector between two points. Click on that and then you're gonna click the origin once and then you're just gonna drag well actually you're not even clicking the mouse right now you're just moving the mouse around to wherever you want click it again and then what you're going to do is right click on the vector that you've just drawn and click on polar coordinates okay and if you see this vector here which is vector w it has a magnitude of 5.67 and an angle of 141 degrees from the horizontal and you can simply move point b around the screen and to wherever you like and you can just observe the magnitude here and the angle here and drag it to wherever you like okay so if the question says to draw a vector of magnitude 4 and an angle of 200 degrees what you can do is you can right click on the point B which is where the head of the vector is and you can click on polar coordinates and that way you can just double click on point B's magnitude and just change it to 4 just type in the number 4 and change the angle to 200 degrees 
by typing it in and if you press enter the vector will automatically have that magnitude and that direction okay so remember the 200 degrees is from the positive x-axis so from this line here all the way to here okay thanks for watching guys see you next time